So automating your deployments within to Azure is a really good way of doing that, but there can be a lot of choice in tool sets and languages, and it can be often hard choosing which one. So what I always tell my customers is to choose something that you're already prolific in. So if you have PowerShell wizards within your organizations, start with that tool set and then grow from there. And maybe in six or 12 months times, evaluate that. Because you've used it, you'll understand what you want and what you don't want from that tool set. And then you can go forward from there.